Hello and welcome back to me building a mobile app with Flutter and ChatGPT in the backend. In this video, I will walk through the screen designs, the UI in Figma. And before I do that, I have to discuss a couple of very general usability topics first. In my first video on this series, I already explained high level how the backend will work, how that will connect to JetGPT. However, there's one challenge uh, looking at what the backend needs to do. And that is the ChatGPT API takes about 15 to 20 seconds to return a result. And it's one HTTP post request. So you need to keep that connection open for 15 to 20 seconds. Now, the very last thing I want is uh, usability that where you have the screen, you need to look at the screen waiting for 15 to 20 seconds, waiting for the response. That's not going to be fun to use the app. So that means I need to handle the less responsive ChatGPT API in my backend and have a different type of API between the mobile client and my own backend. So in short, the mobile client will have to send the picture to the REST API of my backend and then close that connection. After that, 15, 20 seconds later, he can always go back and retrieve the result. In the meantime, my backend will handle the whole connection to JetGPT. We'll keep that open, maybe do some retrying if something fails. But here I will be able to keep a stable connection, right? Imagine you have your mobile phone open, you take a picture, you close the app, or you receive a phone call, you walk into an elevator, you lose the connection, the connection is gone, the picture is gone. So I don't want that, right? You, you need to have the connection open quickly, short time, send it to the backend, and done. Later on, you need to have something like a processing log and an outbox on the backend where you can always log in, retrieve the pictures that are waiting for you there. So that makes my backend a bit more complex, but it's necessary in order to implement a proper usability for the end user on the mobile. Now, the other topic regarding the backend and usability is the identity providers. I want to use only a couple of identity providers like Google, Facebook, Apple to log into the system. And if I can get away without implementing any username password scheme directly on the app, I want to do that. I'm not sure yet if I can get away with it. Uh, when you upload your app to an app store, Apple App Store as well as the Google Play Store, you need to give them credentials to log in to test your app. And I'm not sure you can replace that with an identity provider. Nevertheless, I want to try to get away without username password here. I prepared a couple of screen designs in Figma prior to implementation in Flutter. So I want to start out as small as possible, as few screens and simple screens as possible. It can easily grow later on, but it's very difficult to reduce complexity later. So maybe this is enough. Maybe I need to add some username password or some other functionalities here. On the very left, we see the splash screen. So the splash screen is shown when the app is started for the very first time or when it is brought back in the active state, so brought back into the foreground. That is the way more common scenario. Typically, you start an app once and then you push it back to the background, bring it back, bring, push it back. And this is a cycle, happens many times. And you, know, you need to do some tests, some checking every time you bring it back into the foreground. So what I'm going to do here is I will make sure the app has the right permissions it needs to do what it needs to do so that it's allowed to access the camera, the photo gallery, that it can connect to the internet, can build a connection to my backend. And that's pretty much it. I will also check if there are any pictures waiting in the background in the backend to be downloaded. 
and also if I have credits to use the app at all. So once all these checks are done, it depends if I have the credentials, valid credentials for the user. So is a user logged in or not? If not, he gets to the logged out screen. So that's where he can log into the system using identity providers like Google, Apple, Facebook. Uh, I think Google and Facebook are the two most popular ones. Apple, I added mostly because if you want to add an app to the Apple App Store and you use some identity provider, then Apple demands that you use Apple as an identity provider as well. Uh, I don't think it's very popular to use the Apple ID to sign in to apps, but it's a requirement from Apple. So that's why I chose these three. Maybe I start out uh, first with a smaller set. Um, I will also need some agreeing to end user license, um, privacy policy, all this uh, fine print that you basically need to do in order to get in the app stores. Once the login is complete and done, uh, no matter from which screen, splash screen or logged out screen, you get into the actual main screen of the app. And that's where you show the preview of the camera and you get a button to take the picture. So that would be the floating action button here where we can uh, snap a picture and upload it to the server, to the backend. I also see how many credits I have, how many pictures am I allowed to take. So that would count down and be reset on a monthly basis depending on the, the billing scheme I've set up and a log out button so I can log out from the system and then I would get back to the logged out screen. In terms of giving the user feedback on, let's say permissions are not there, I will handle most of that with uh, snack bars. So just a quick message on the screen every time the user has taken a picture, gets a response, he knows what's going on, the picture has been sent to the server and that's it. So that's pretty much it, really down to three screens, three simple screens. And uh, I will see if that's enough. If not, I make some modifications, add some functionality. In my next video, I will walk you through the Flutter code to implement these screens in a mobile app. So if you want to see the details of the implementation in Flutter, subscribe and follow for more.